haven't had sex in over a year and a half, and people ask me how that's possible, and I say, all you have to do is just be yourself. <laughs> Let me tell you about my uh, living situation. Uh, my one roommate is a paranormal romance fiction novelist. My other roommate is a feminist autobiographical cartoonist. And I do stand-up comedy. So if you want to know what my apartment is like, Try to imagine the musical Rent if no one had enough charisma to get AIDS. <laughs> it's really hard to get AIDS. You've got to fuck someone who's been fucked by other people. That is a tangled web of likability. I mean, I'll be honest with you, it's hard for me to get pussy, because uh, I refer to it as pussy. <laughs> that one's for the lady, yes. <laughs> I was with one girl for four and a half years. She was my high school and community college sweetheart. <laughs> and it's all gone downhill since then. Like, I do a lot of bad instant messaging sex, which can be fun but frustrating because the girl will be like, fuck me harder, fuck me harder. And I'm just like, but I'm already typing in all caps. <laughs> I don't drink a lot. Uh, I come from a long line of alcoholics. My family tree has a car wrapped around it. <laughs> and I'm a child of divorce, and I really hate the way I found out about my parents' divorce. What happened was, my mom took me out for ice cream, and she sat me down, and she said, Michael, I'm leaving your father. I'm going off to marry another man, and I'm pregnant. I know, that was pretty fucked up. Cause that should have been three different trips to get ice cream. <laughs> that took you two seconds of life, but it's taken me 20 years in this shirt. I really hate the people that my parents are with now. I especially hate my dad's Cuban fiance, Maria, who I always refer to as my dad's Cuban fiance, Maria. That way she's more of a concept, not an actual person, has no power over me. It works. She did this recently. She told me my dad was in the hospital via text message, and the actual text read, Bad news, dad's in the hosp. He's got an inf in his foot. They might have to amp it. She amputated the word amputate. <laughs> no me gusta, Maria. <laughs> now I'm so terrified I'm gonna get the death text any day now. Bad news. Dad fell asleep, didn't wake up, must have been his pros cans. <laughs> text back to make fun arrangements. I would much rather die than be immortal. I think it would suck to be immortal, because every 50 or 60 years, your wife dies, and you've got to get a new one, and each one has more rights than the last one. <laughs> hey, honey, let's go out and vote. Damn it, woman, that used to be my alone time. Speaking of alone time, I'm a comic book fan, and uh, I've seen The Dark Knight so many times, and I've been trying to figure out what Christian Bale's Batman voice sounds like to me, besides shit, and I think I finally got it. He sounds like a drag queen at the end of the night who just doesn't care anymore. Come on, Chantel, let's just go to this club a few blocks down the road. These high heels are killing me. Oh, I like a girl who's got a little fight in her. Then you'll love me. My favorite celebrity is Susan Boyle. And uh, 
For those of you who don't know, Susan Boyle's this woman, parentheses, question mark. <laughs> and she was on a reality show recently, and I won't say she's unattractive. I'll just say she looks like Robin Williams trying to get his kids back again. <laughs> Which I can say, because I look like Robin Williams trying to talk Matt Damon into believing in himself. <laughs> I worked at McDonald's for seven years, because when you love life, life loves you back. <laughs> I said I was going to be there a few months. I ended up being there for seven years, so it really was my Vietnam. <laughs> And if you're wondering how I can compare working at McDonald's to Vietnam, it's cause you weren't fucking there, man. <laughs> but I wanna believe the reason I was at McDonald's for so long is cause I was mean to some old gypsy woman in the drive-thru one morning. I was like, ma'am, it's 10.35, we're not selling any McMuffins anymore. And she was like, oh, but I want one. They are so delicious. And I was like, we're not selling them anymore. And then she was like, from this day forth, you shall have the face of a rapist and the self-esteem of one of his victims. <laughs> Guys, I'm Mike Lawrence. Good night. Let's give it up for my great friend, John Patton.